Hello Aries, welcome to my channel. My name is Marina and this is your tarot reading and your coffee reading for November 2022. So I'm doing a bit of both just to give you a, a good message, a good read for November 2022. So the first thing here, we're going to start with the coffee cup. And wow, look at that. This is so clear and so beautiful, this coffee cup. So where to start? So the first thing I see here is that there's a question in your heart. There's something that you've been questioning. And this question, you know, it's going to be answered, you know, around November 2022 and moving on. This thing that's been in your mind, in your heart, you're not sure. Uh, it could be a thing from the past as to why did this happen? Why did this happen to me? Uh, you know, you haven't had answers for this. Uh, you know, I feel that you've been victimized and, you know, you never got some justice or you never understood why this happened. So I feel that from November and onwards, uh, there will be signs that will have clarity. There will be signs that will give you answers for this. From now to two, it says, from, from November and onwards, two weeks, two months. I won't say two years, that's too long. But you will get some answers. You will understand. You will find the key that will unlock this puzzle, this story, this answer, and you will get some justice in knowing why and how and why this thing happened. Um, but they do say everything happens for a reason. I always get that for you, Aries, and all your messages, you know, something happens for a reason. This keeps coming up this year. So it tells me that you're finally, you're going to get your answer. It could take time from November and onwards, but you will get your answer to this question. Um, also, you have a secret admirer here. I feel there's two eyes on you. There's two eyes that are, I don't know if you can see those two eyes there, but they're two eyes. They're watching you. You've got a secret admirer, somebody that has interest in you. I feel that there'll be a message that will come. Somebody will, uh, you know, send a message or give a message and, um, you, you know, you're getting a message. This message could be late at night. But there's a message that's coming, a proposition, an offer, an outing, a request to see you. So that will be entirely up to you. But there's somebody that's building up the courage, the you know, to, the bravery to ask you out. Look, they could be in the friend zone. They could be a friend of a family. Uh, they could be a bit reluctant because I see them with one foot forward and one foot back. So they may, might need a push. But um, I do see them truly and utterly, uh, you know, finding their way to make that known to you. Uh, I see there's been some arguments. Uh, I feel that you've put in a lot, you've done a lot in, for a situation with somebody, with people, and uh, you feel that, you know, you feel that you got the raw end of the deal. So you've been, you know, you've been doing and doing and you have been receiving and, and getting half as much. Now, this could be at work. This could be a love situation where you're putting in and not getting much back. Um, so you need to discuss this. You need to have a heart to heart. You need to stand up for yourself and stand up for what you believe. You can't just give, give, give and not take anything back. So, you know, sometimes we wait for the other person uh, to realize or to appreciate. But sometimes things have to be said, you know, because not always uh, people can feel or know uh, or, or stand up for you, you know, so you have to stand up for yourself. So if you if you feel that you're doing too much and you're giving too much and it's not noticed or it's not appreciated or it's not uh, mutual, then you've got to put your foot down. You need to make this known and you need to discuss it and have it out so you can, uh, you know, so it can be an equality kind of a thing. So you need to ask. Don't wait for somebody to, to think or don't wait for them uh, to know of this because this is you, you know, you're the one that's doing and people are all busy with their own stories and their own world. So you need to stand up for yourself and you need to tell them what you're doing, what you need in return and, you know, how this is going to go. Otherwise, this will just continue and it's going to frustrate you and it's just going to bring you down and make you very bitter. So there's no need for that. So whatever you feel is, is wrong or whatever's wronged you, you need to move on and discuss it and stand up for yourself. Sorry, stand up for your belief. Move Otherwise, move on. That's what it is. If you're not appreciated, you need to move on, but you need to make the other person aware of this. Um, and only then will you get some justice and some rights. 
It's not going to happen on its own. You need to make that move. So they're telling us that. I also see a, a three three people situation where, you know, there's two together and one here separate. So sometimes you feel left out, you know. I feel there's two here, see, one, two, and then this one's on the facing the other way. So this is a three-way situation. I feel that sometimes you feel left out of a group or a, a situation and it hurts sometimes. So again, this tells us that you need to stand up for what you believe. If you if you are treated unfairly, Aries, move on. Uh, don't sit there. Don't keep giving. And that's just going to add, add to the fuel. So you need to move on from this. And only then will you succeed. Whoever doesn't appreciate you, whoever doesn't want you or doesn't, uh, you know, give you the time of day, don't give them the time of day. Whoever doesn't appreciate you the way you deserve to be appreciated, you walk away. And that's the message today. But I do see you moving away. I do see you climbing a ladder. I see you moving and succeeding. Uh, from November and onwards in 2022, I see a lot of success coming your way. Um, there's a lot of you standing up for what you believe, being courageous, being brave, going towards what you want, following your dreams and following your goals. And only then I see you succeeding. Um, you will come to an intersection that requires a choice left or right, but you will make this choice. Um, this choice is going to be, well, actually, yeah, left or right, even forward. You will make a choice, but there's no going back in this intersection. That's what I love about it. It's either it's moving forward or moving whichever section, whichever direction destiny will send you. But it all starts with you standing up for what you're believing, uh, loving yourself, giving yourself the right um, you know, and justice, giving yourself justice, because it's it starts with you, Aries. You have to give yourself justice before other people give you justice. It's, it's that same story. You have to love yourself so that others can love you. So that's the message for November 2022. And I do see you succeeding and utterly moving with that. So that's the message there for the coffee cup. That's what it tells us. Now we're going to see what the tarot card tells us for November 2022, for my lovely Aries, just a message for my lovely Aries, November 2022. Let's see what's coming, what's happening. Oh, wow. So you will take authority. You do have to stand up for yourself. You will take authority. So we've got the King of Pentacles, so it tells me that you'll be ve it's a time for a great success. Uh, you will achieve financial security around November 2022. There will be a supportive parent, spouse, friend, somebody there that's got your back, a good person to work for, uh, somebody that is there supporting you. You will need some time out. Um, you know, we've got the hermit card, so you will have some time to seek out and become a spiritual mentor. You need to go through that self-discovery, that, that what we discussed, you standing up for yourself and, and loving yourself. So, you know, um, you will shine your light and as an example to others. You will have that time spent alone. You will be motivated and you will have some meaningful solitude to discover a lot of things. At the same time, um, we've got the five of swords, so there's a better way out, it says, and, uh, you know, don't, don't be around people that bring you down, that, you know, that cause you bad addictions, uh, avoid people who lack integrity or who have questionable motives, people that put you down, people that don't help you, you need to avoid those situations because it's those people that bring you down. So, you know, try to make the right choices, things that are better for you. Don't make other people happy. It tells that here. Um, um, it says here that, you know, you've got to avoid those people and don't just do everything for what others are. You need to look out for yourself. But at the same time, once you once you have your back, Aries, once you have your own back, then only then will you be able to, you know, finish what you start. You will allow your creativity to soar and you will do the things that fuel your passions. So this is what the page of wands tell us that you will be able to fuel your passion. You'll be able to finish what you start, but you need to go on this journey with the hermit. You need to go through that self-discovery 
to live for you, take care of you, take time out for you so that you can walk away from bad addictions and bad behaviors and people that are no longer servicing you and bringing you down and not appreciating you. Um, because ultimately, with these two kings sitting side by side, you will have the confidence, you will have the glory and the success to make everything a possibility. You just have to, um, you know, you have to do the work, take care of you, build your self-confidence, because you will have financial security and prosperity with this king of pe pentacles. You will uh, you know, communicate your visions with this king of wands. You will take a leadership role and you will step into the spotlight. You will have it all. All eyes will be on you. You will be able to do everything, but you need to believe in yourself. And in order to do that, only then can you prosper and keep away from negative thoughts. Um, with these five of pentacles, it tells us negative thoughts uh, will be manifesting into real challenges. So try to keep away from that. Focus on better things. Um, keep away from fears. Don't let fears dictate your life. And if you need help, reach out for others for assistance. You know, um, there's nothing wrong with asking for help. So you'll need to do that. But all in all, I do see you succeeding in, in all that that you're doing. So let's see what the oracles can tell us about this also. We'll finish it with some messages from the oracle. Oh, this came out. I'm going to take that. Okay, one more for November. Let's see what they've got to tell us for November. Just a message for my lovely Aries for November. A message for my lovely Aries for November. Oh. They're going everywhere today. Okay, let's have a look. A message for my lovely Aries for November. Oh, all right. I'm going to take this since it fell out. Okay, so. So, once you, we do everything and once we accomplish everything, it tells me here that there is time for happiness. We've got the honeymoon card. So there is love. Love is happening. Um, somebody's going to make the effort. We've got results here, Aries, which is wonderful. Somebody's going to make an effort. There's an effort that's being made. There's a great love that's worth taking the steps to. Don't let fears stop you from anything because I see you moving in the right direction. It all starts with friendship. Friendship is the key. It all starts with friendship and friendship nurtures the bond uh, for within your relationship and your love life will dr dramatically improve. So you need that friendship. You need that communication. You need to make the effort and you need to get the other person that you're involved with to make effort. Once effort is made and prioritized, prioritized, then only then you will have that enjoying the bliss and happiness of that honeymoon. So effort Friendship, connection um, will help you get you closer to everything. Um, but also remember, give each other space. Um, uh, the oracles tell us, give each other space. But once that, you know, once you've made your, once you've discussed everything and talked it through and the effort will be made from both parties, only then I see that there will be a, a beautiful and a blissful union. So I wish you the best with all that, my lovely Aries. And that was your message for November 2022. And thanks for watching and namaste. And thanks for watching.